I'm Miss Dara from the Rogers Public Library. I'm Kelly from the Rogers Public Library. And today we're doing Sublime Slime. And so today we're going to do Little Mermaid Slime. So it's going to be Kinetic Sand Slime. So here we go. Let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is put some glue in your bowl. So you're going to use clear glue. I'm going to use white glue. So you have a measuring cup over there. And you need to put a half a cup of clear glue in your bowl. And I'm putting a cup of white glue because I'm going to do a different slime than you. We'll see which slime ends up better. these out of the way. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is put in your color. So for mine, I'm putting in my sand. You can put in your mica powder. You just need to put a little bit in there. But I'm so going to put in a cup of sand but I need to do this separately, so. I think that's enough. Do I put more in if I want it darker? Yeah, stir that in and see what it does. So I'm making my kinetic sand over here. Yours is already made because we got store-bought kinetic sand. Okay, so there is a cup of sand. It's the fine craft sand. And then in it, I'm going to put a tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix that together. So this slime is a little bit more difficult than a lot of them we've done. Either one, either with the store-bought or the other. She used mica powder. If you get colored uh, kinetic sand, you don't even have to add any color into it. But that mica powder is really pretty. Okay, so there's that. And then I need to add dish soap to mine. And it takes a tablespoon of dish soap. Okay. Sorry, mine takes a minute longer here. So it's kind of getting a little bit clumpy. So it's not great kinetic sand, but it's going to work. So what you're going to want to do is put your liquid starch in. So you're going to want to add half of a fourth of cup. Don't do that yet. Okay. Mine, I'm going to go ahead and add mine. Mine's a little bit different kind though. Okay. Yours, you're going to want to head to make your slime and then you add in your kinetic sand. So. Put in a fourth a cup of liquid starch. Well, I mix this in. It's a nice gritty sound, right? Yeah, I love that sound. It's very pretty. So 
then I'm going to add my, I've got sand all over me. I'm going to add a fourth cup of liquid starch in my So we have to go over the slime rolls. So the, either one of these slimes, if you get it on anything, it'll come out with vinegar. But we don't want to get it on anything. So definitely don't put it in your hair or on your clothes. You know, when I was when I was in grade school, I put some slime on my teacher's chair. That wasn't very nice. I know I was. That was bad of me. All I right. did get in trouble, and yeah, I hope he was able to get it out of his pants with vinegar. I hope he knew about vinegar. Sometimes vinegar we make mistakes. Out. Yeah. All right. So mine's coming together, but this is really kind of stiff slime. How's yours coming? Looks pretty much like a melted. Uh, well, like a. Like a slug that you put some salt on. That's what it's supposed to look like, right? That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. So you can add in your kinetic sand if you want to. Okay. And I love the way mine smells. Yeah, I didn't put a mm. smell in mine. So it smells like dish soap. Do I put the whole thing in? Just put the whole thing in. Okay. And I stir it in, or do I knead it in with my hands? Stir it in. And then you can knead it. Okay. So mine is pretty much done. And if you wanted to, Leave it like this, you can. This is supposed to be kinetic sand and you can shape it and you can um, cut it really well, but I don't really like hard slime. So I wanted to change mine a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my secret ingredient. So do you guys wanna know what my secret ingredient is today? I'm gonna make this slime turn into slime like this except this one of course has pink sand in it instead of green but see how stretchy and cool it is it's so light like a pink cloud poofy so we're going to add some snow in because i like to add snow into my slime so i just got instant snow powder and put water in it to activate it and then we're just going to add this was one tablespoon of instant snow powder with a cup of water so i just add it in here and then you just kind of start working it in and it takes a few minutes for it to actually work in really really well and make that really cool consistency How's yours doing? It's feeling a little sticky. Should I yeah, put some add more some starch? liquid starch. We love liquid starch. I'm getting snow powder all over I didn't know it was gonna hurt my teacher. I would never have done something like that. <laughs> now I'm feeling bad and sad. He probably got it off. Yeah. He probably knew about vinegar. Probably. He was my teacher. He's pretty Teachers smart. Teachers are pretty smart. All right. I think I need some more. You just add in as much as you need. So 
We'll see how much the spatch needs. How's it coming? It's a little less sticky, but I've been adding some more starch. You'll have to, after you do that, you'll want to knead it together. So just keep working at it and it'll it'll come together. Yeah. Your purple kind of faded, faded a little didn't it? bit, did it? It's more like a very pale lavender. That white kinetic sand was kind of overpowering, I think. Okay. Mine's getting there. It's getting a little bit more stretchy. How's it going? It's getting there. It's getting there. So, this one is getting there too, but I'm going to show you. So, this is a blue version of what she has. And this one, as you can see, is very nice. And if you lay it down on something, you can spread it. It's a very spreadable. And you can cut it. Oh, that's nice. So it's a very nice slime. And that's what yours is going to be. It just takes a little bit more work and yeah. some more liquid oh, starch, probably. Really close. So this one is very nice. Um, this pink one is what that one will look like. And it is kind of a mix between um, cloud slime and sand slime. So it's really cool. The sand looks like little tiny diamonds. <laughs> so that's fun. All right, how's yours? Is it doing good? Yeah, I think we are almost there. I just need to knead it in a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks really good. Well, that was a lot of fun. Did you have fun making slime with me today? I had so much fun making the slime. All right. Well, thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.